Hey there guys, what is up, it's me, you're in 52 and I'm here today, I'm going to be showing you guys another Photoshop tutorial, uh, and this time we'll be basically doing a Lego brick effect, so if you want to have a photo like I do, and you want to make a Lego brick effect, then this is uh, probably a tutorial for you, sorry, that's what I'm going to say, I can't wait to show you, okay, so what do you want to do first, get an image of the person, see, for yourself, Wait, not you. Open. And let's go to my pictures. And I'm going to find a picture of somebody to make a photo of. Give me a sec. Ugh. So here we go. I took a picture of Grant Gustin, world famous actor who also plays The Flash. So. For the first step, what you want to do is you want to duplicate this layer, like always. This is the always the first step. And the most important step. Jesus Christ, I shouldn't have smoked so much. I mean, I shouldn't have sniffed so much crack before this. So what you want to do is you want to, for the first time ever in one of our tutorials, you want to take this new duplicated layer and convert it to a smart object. So now that's a smart object, we can apply filters and stuff which give the option of like changing your settings uh, differently at a later time. So first you want to go to filter. So now and then you want to go to f pixelate. Then you want to go to mosaic. Let me bring this up here. And once you're in mosaic, you're going to want to set, set about 64 squares. <laughs> Right now it looks very, very blurry, and that's kind of really stupid, but, yeah, that's that's practically what we have. So now you want to create a new document, so here we go, create a new one, and you want to make a 64 by 64 pixels document. Oh, it's so cute and tiny, but, looking cute and tiny, which you want to do for, but it looks cute and tiny, right? Well, how? Well, what do you think the purpose of this is? The purpose of this is to make the Lego pattern. So we're gonna want to go ahead and set a pattern. Oh, I got a hair stuck in my mouth. I got a hair stuck in my mouth. Fuck. Um, Chris. Um, you want to go to? Uh, you want to? You can want to? You can either go to edit. Uh, where is it? Fill. Here we go. And you can set it to 50%, and you gotta set it to 50% gray, okay? So, that that's done. Then, your your document will be 50% gray. Then you're gonna take the ellipse tool, down here. And if it's set to the right hand tool, remember, it's just under this keyser. So, just set the ellipse tool. And you're gonna wanna make a perfect circle. So, how you can do that is you go, Control, Shift, Oopsies. It was Control Alt. No, wait. Yeah, it was Control Alt. And you make a perfect circle from the center. No, it's not it's not Control Alt, sorry. Let me do this again. You do um you do Alt Shift, so you start making it, then you do Alt Shift. There you go. Now that that's done. Okay, that's not working. Let me try this again. Oh, and by the way, you gotta set it to completely white, so if you wanna do that. Ugh. And then you're just going to want to resize it so it can fit in the middle. It's a perfect circle right now, so you're going to want to resize. And just fit it in the middle. There we go. So now that that's in the middle, you're going to want to... Okay, maybe we can make this a bit smaller. It's kind of pissing me off. Let's make it a tiny bit smaller. Apply. There we go. Okay. So now, you're going to have to create, you're going to have to make a bevel 
for the circle. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to, you got to select the ellipse though. And you're going to go to layer. Where the hell is it? Uh, this thing gets me every time. Layer, layer style. And then blending options. There you go. I'm going to bring this up. This part's very important. So, for the fill, for the advanced blending part, you're going to want to set the fill opacity to zero. Then you want to go down to the bevel and emboss, and you want to check that. And then, see here? And then, and then when you want to set, and then you're going to have to set the technique to chisel hard. As you can see, it's starting to come along. Next, then you're going to adjust the size to about... Well, yeah. You're gonna want to set it to about one or two size, one pixel, one pixel or two pixel, depends on how thick you want. I'm gonna go with one pixel. Then you're gonna check change the shading angle to 90 degrees. So if it's 120, which is the default, you're gonna want to change it to 90 because then that way you can get the perfect look. So now, now that that's done, you're gonna go to Drop shadow over to here. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. And you're going to go to your size and you're going to set the size to about six. So if it's already at five, which is the default, you're going to set it to six. And you're going to set the distance to zero. Okay? So press OK and then it's created your thing. Next, you're going to select this thing, and you're going to go, well, the background, you're going to select layer from background, and it'll just create this new layer. It removes the lock from it. So you're going to right-click on the background layer and choose blending options again. So here we go, blending options. That's another way to do it if you want to know. And then you're going to select chisel hard again. Oopsies. Ugh. Chisel hard, there we go. And you're gonna select Jesus Christ got you on. And you wanna set the size and you wanna set the size to about one to two PX. So one or two. I'm gonna go with one. It seems to have blended that way. And then you're just gonna it's gonna be this good. So next you wanna go to edit then you're gonna go to define pattern. There you go. This thing will show up, and this thing will say, "What do you want to name it?" Let's name it Lego Rick. Okay. So that the Lego brick is done, you can't just willy nilly slap it on. So you're gonna go over here. Sorry, and you're gonna select. Uh, yeah, you're gonna select this, and. You're gonna go and press create. Yeah, you're gonna create a new pattern. So you're gonna select this. Ugh, this stuff gets me every time when I can't find it. Um, yeah, but what you want to do is you want to go to your current document, this one, and you're gonna create a new pattern layer by just clicking on the adjustment layer button. Oh, sorry, that's what is missing. So you want to click on the adjustment layer button in your layers panel, and you want to select pattern. Oh no, too blocky. Oh god, MLG. Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh wait, crap. Pattern fill. So that pattern fill has showed up, and you're just gonna go ahead and select your new pattern. Okay. So uh, that's done. You're going to change the blending mode of your layer to linear light. So now, because you want to get it to blend, right? So you're going to set it to linear light. Where the hell is it? Linear light. See? This is not a good photo. I think I'll just have to uh, open up a new photo. I will take this photo. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take this photo of um, Walter White and Jesse from Breaking Bad and I think I'll just uh, fix it from there. Let's uh, let's do this. Duplicate this layer. Because it, it didn't go well last time. So let's try this again. And then you're going to want to put it on a smart... Uh, freaking hell. 
You're going to want to put this on a smart layer again, so convert to smart object. And then once it's on a smart object, what you want to do is you want to edit it and put it on mosaic. Again, layer styles. Where the hell is it? Layer styles. Layer styles. Or filter. It's not layer styles. You want to go to filter, uh, pixelate, then mosaic. Uh, 64. Okay, there we go. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad Lego edition. That would be nice. Okay, now that, now that we're already at our step, back to our original step where we were. Well, we not our original step. We were at step 12. Yeah, you want to attach this new pattern. So go pattern, and yeah, there we go. We're gonna select it. So okay, and looks very nice. But it's not blended, so what you want to do is you want to go over here and you want to put linear light. There we go. We got a bit of Breaking Bad the linear light version going on. So that's now it blends in, right? But because bricks don't come in like every color and shade, you want to compress it to a more limited color palette. So what you want to do is you want to go over here down to this thing. Sorry, I can't see because I want to dual ma monitor and my laptop's covering it. And I'm going to put up posterize. And here in the properties, you're going to adjust the levels from anywhere from uh, 4 to 8. So I'm going to set it to 6. Or maybe even 7. 6, yeah. 6 is good. 6 is good. Okay. Which you want to compress the saturation to even a more limited range. So what you want to do is you want to go over here to solid color. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to set it to, you're going to set the S, which is saturation, to about 75. And you got to have it on red. So there we go. And the hue has to be on 100%. The hue has to be any color. But B has to be bright. It has to be on 100%. So there we go. Click OK. And you'll be good to go. So now that we have this color fill, what you want to do is you want to put it under posterize. Oh, sorry, pattern fill. You want to put posterize under this. And you want to put... Yeah, there we go. And then you're... And then you're going to set the blending mode of this to... Uh, it's saturation. Let me find saturation. So there, there you go. Those are the final results. Now, let's... Let's just say that th this is great, okay? So with this kind of effect, what you want, what you can do is that y let's say you have a family portrait that you don't like. So le like let's say there's a picture of you and your wife, or you and your children, and they're like um, they don't look cool enough. Like let's say you took a photo at Legoland or on a music park, and you're like, let's learn about the fun of amusement again and the good part about that is that with this kind of effect you can really easily make your family members and you look great that's all for today and I'll see you guys next time hope you can like subscribe comment do whatever the hell you want I could really appreciate the feedback and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope it helped and I'll see you guys around next time bye